Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you? Hope you are well. Okay, so today we have a very exciting video. You know, the entire week I was so scared that you guys would notice it. Uh, so as the title suggests, today we are going to be talking all about semi-permanent lip makeup. So what is semi-permanent makeup? Now, semi-permanent makeup is a cosmetic procedure that's non-invasive. Um, and it gives you kind of like, it's kind of like tattooing, but it doesn't enter into the skin layer as deep as uh, tattooing does. Okay, so it will not last as long as tattoo. Tattoo is almost permanent. Okay, it will will never ever fade off until like say 30 years later you know stuff like this but semi-permanent makeup can only last for up to two years max so uh, some of the very famous examples of semi-permanent makeup includes our eyebrow embroidery uh, microblading uh, which I have done so myself okay so yeah what got me to try out semi-permanent lip makeup which has also been around for quite some time already is um, that I am sick and tired of uh, not wearing a lip product out for fear that it will stain my mask because it is quite difficult to remove uh, lip makeup from mask. Yes, I can wear any transfer proof uh, lip paste but the thing is, you know, when you speak the vapor, the heat, the condensation, condensation is that the right word? <laughs> It will still kind of like melt the product a little bit and get it transferred across to the mask and yeah I don't know how long this pandemic is gonna last how long we're gonna be wearing a face mask for so I thought why not I just kind of like get it over and done with and I don't need to wear lip product for a long time and it will solve my problem and also being born naturally tan I have naturally darker lips okay, so this is my lips without any makeup at all okay so i'm gonna try to wrap it <laughs> okay so i don't know if you noticed but it's slightly like brighter and it's not as dull as before so yeah i've been very pleased with my results and i really really want to share with you the process um so yes i will talk you through the process let's bring ourselves back to a week ago okay so yeah let's go Right over here, as you can see, a cotton pad is placed behind my lips and right in front of my teeth. Uh, and there's a reason for that because later on when she's introducing the pigment into my lips, um, this will prevent the pigment from entering my mouth. And also now she's applying some Vaseline all over my lips so that the pigment goes nowhere except for my lips. Alright, as you can see, Jin is putting on a lip mask look-alike kind of thing on my lips. At first, I thought she was masking my lips, but no, this is actually numbing. Uh, and this numbing is super duper good, by the way. Now, they are also putting on a clean wrap over my lips, uh, just like any other numbing process. Alright, after 7 minutes, the numbing process is over and I feel very, very numb right now. And what is happening is, uh, you can see my lips are very pale because the numbing shows where the pigments of your lips are concentrated at, okay? Okay, over here, Jin is mapping out on my lips where she would like to introduce the pigment. Um, and also, I would like to highlight that this process took a while, about 30 minutes, because she was super detailed. And it was super important for us to reach a consensus on the shape. I know many of you must be wondering, can I get her to overdraw my lips? Unfortunately not, because it would be a little bit weird to introduce pigment um, onto the skin outside of your lip area where naturally there's no pigment. Uh, can you get her to underdraw your lips? Yes, and I noticed many customers did that not to decrease the size of the lips but to kind of like improve the overall shape and proportion of the lips and the results were great. Alright, mapping is done and I'm super in love with the shape. Uh, I did ask her to kind of like round my cubic bow a little bit more and I love it. Alright guys, just want to warn you that some graphic content is coming up ahead and because of the color pigments, I might look like I'm bleeding but I assure you I was not. It's all the colors, I promise. So just want to give you a little warning here, okay? Alright, so she's introducing pigment into my lips now. As you can see, she doesn't go too deep in so there was no bleeding involved. Uh, and also, I would explain the color choice later. At this point, you should also feel nothing because like I said, the numbing was super duper good. 
Alright guys, here is a before and right after the procedure. My lips were a little bit swollen. Yes, that's completely normal. Uh, I still feel numb for another 2-3 to three hours and then it wore off and I start to feel some soreness which is totally bearable. But bear in mind to avoid alcoholic and um, alcoholic drinks sorry, and spicy soups uh, for the first 24 hours. If not, it's gonna sting girl. Okay, so um, here is also a clip of how it looks like just um, a few hours after the procedure before I removed my makeup. This was taken um, about 6 hours after and as you can see, the swelling has come down. This was taken day 4. Uh, I would say day 3 and day 4 are the worst because your lips get super duper dry due to the scabbing. Okay, so I'm actually not supposed to use any lip balm but it was peeling so badly and I feel dry AF so I just put on lip balm but it still feels very tight. Oh, I can't wait for day 6. Apparently day 6 is where you will see the best results. Alright, so fast forward 2 days later, here we are at day 6 and this is the result. Um, I do agree that the peeling process was a little bit hard and it was like really really testing your mental strength to not use any lip balm but I really succumbed by day 4 and 5. So I just used lip balm but um, it didn't affect the result much. I think that's because my peeling was already done by the end of day 4. Day 5, I don't wake up to new scabs anymore. So yeah, it was lucky that I wore lip balm at the end of my scabbings. Uh, if not, I think it would have um, affected the result. Okay, so I'm super in love this color but of course I am going to be very honest with you and tell you that this is not a final result. I still need a few more sessions to achieve a even better color because as you can see my top lip is still a little bit darker than my lower lip. Uh, so the next session has to occur only two months after this session. Uh, so yeah but I'm already actually quite satisfied with the first one. I thought that it wasn't going to turn out um, so well since I needed a few sessions. Okay, so the reason why she chose coral color for me was because um, there were purple pigment in uh, my lids, so that made it look darker. So um, to cancel out purple, you need orange, which is coral. Okay, so that is why she chose a more orangey red color for me, but obviously it didn't turn out to be orange. Orange is actually super nice. It actually made my complexion look brighter for some reason. Um, so yeah, the eventual result is definitely um, something more pinkish. I don't know, I might change to coral now. Because I feel that it did such a great job eliminating um, the purple pigments. Uh, so yeah, uh, now at day 6, my lips are still uh, quite dry-ish. So every single day, I'm just wearing lip balm. Nothing but clear lip balm. Um, and yeah, the color is uh, lovely. Uh, after the scabbing is done, my uh, lips feel like baby lips. So yeah, I think I have covered everything regarding um, the semi-permanent lip makeup. Uh, as to where I got it from and also um, the contact of my artist I will leave it in the description box down below for you so yes uh, I'm sorry I know that last week I stopped my giveaway uh, because I needed to sort out um, some new items to include in uh, this week's giveaway so yes there's gonna be a giveaway this week I'm also slowly catching up with my previous giveaways I know I've been quite slow in sending out the boxes uh, but some of you should have received your boxes by now okay so um, as usual there's gonna be be three beauty boxes up for grabs so yeah to enter the giveaway all you have to do is to a be subscribed um b turn on post notifications so that you're updated each time i upload new video and that is every single sunday and lastly leave me a comment down below and that way you are automatically entered for the giveaway all right so yeah if you have any question regarding um the semi-permanent lip makeup let me know in the comment section down below. You can also email me or DM me on Instagram. Anything works. I uh, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed making this one for you. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video, which is uh, next Sunday. Meanwhile, please take care. Bye-bye.